The kids had gone to go play outside and the moment they stepped outside, it started downpouring. So now they're hiding away in their clubhouse waiting for the rain to pass. Mm -hmm. We even gave the other bunny one. You're giving Look. them a little carrot Look. snack. Look. They love it. Look at mine. Mmm, <laughs> they're enjoying the carrot snacks. You guys are so muddy from the the downpour we had randomly that lasted for five minutes. We're in the middle of doing school and the power went out. The power went out because of another downpour. This one's even crazier. morning it was hot no clouds in the sky and then in, within the matter of a couple hours this is what what we've got now completely gray skies and I'm assuming it'll rain for the next at least hour or two the power came back on somehow even though the storm is still going <laughs> so we're continuing Continuing with school. Okay. See and now. The sky is back to being blue. And unfortunately, the power did go out again. So we had to take a pause from our homeschooling. We just had some lunch and now the kids are just reading and drawing and playing. We're almost finished with the school day. We just need about another 30 minutes. Uh, to get everything finished up. So we'll see if the power decides to come back on. Um, but I thought that I should use this time to talk a little bit about homeschool because it is probably the number one. Can you hear the thunder out there? Um, it's probably the number one topic that I get asked about from you guys, which I'm always more than happy to talk about homeschooling but I decided that I will just um, talk a little bit about the specifics of what we do, um, the curriculum we use, and just how we go about homeschooling because there are so many different ways to go about it and I'm not going to pretend that I'm an expert on the subject of homeschooling in like a broad sense. Um, I just know what works for us and what we've been doing for all these years um, because we have homeschooled since the very beginning even when we were in the states uh, we made the decision that we were gonna homeschool our kids so from the time lucas was in you know pre-k and kindergarten we've been homeschooling all along so we did not just start homeschool because of our move to kenya although it just happens to be a really really good fit for our life and us moving here and just the type of lifestyle that we have um, it does fit really nicely but yeah it wasn't moving to Kenya was not the reason that we decided to homeschool so the type of homeschool that we do um, we use an online based curriculum it's completely online um, we do get um, materials mailed to us at the beginning of each school year, which for us, it's a U.S.-based curriculum. So the U.S. school year for, for us in Utah, um, it always starts in August. So um, every August, they or leading up to August, they mail us um, books and different actual materials like workbooks and um textbooks and different materials but technically even if we didn't have those things we would still be able to um, do everything with our coursework because everything is online and if you just wanted to print out your worksheets 
on a printer, you can do that as well. So, um, so yeah, it's all online based and we, so the program we use is through our school district, um, in the state of Utah. So I don't know if this is true for every state and every school district, but I would imagine that there's a lot of, I would imagine that most states offer this. So it's a homeschool online school option that the state of Utah um, offers for students who would prefer to school at home or maybe they need to school at home for different periods of time, um, whatever the reason is. There's so many different reasons why that might be the case, um, but it's offered through the state of Utah. So it's free. Um, because we are enrolled in, um, you know, we are enrolled in the school district in our town in Utah. Um, so if you're in U.S. and you are thinking about homeschooling or you're, you have a base in U.S. and you're thinking of moving abroad, um, just look into the options that your school district offers because chances are there is a free um, curriculum that they offer that you can just be enrolled into and then everything is free. At least that's how it is for us, you know, because public school in the U.S. is free. Um, there's no school fees or anything for public school. So this just goes hand in hand with that. It's um, just a branch of a public schooling option that the state of Utah provides. So um, with all that being said, that's how we got enrolled into it. Um, but the actual curriculum that our school district uses is called Bright Thinkers. And they have changed their curriculum a couple of times since we've been enrolled um, in the online program. And this one is my favorite so far. So it's called Bright Thinkers. So yeah, there's just so many different courses. There's science, history, math, language arts, um, art, you know, it has it all. So that's the one we're currently using. And then alongside of that, we just do a lot of reading. Um, we do a lot of visits to the library. My kids are really, really into reading right now, which I'm happy about. Um, they're always reading and they're just reading through their books so quickly. Like I can hardly keep up. Um, but yeah, they really enjoy reading. So we do a lot of that. And then they also do, um, a few extra online courses. Um, like right now they're doing one called Tinker and it's like a coding course. So they're learning a bit of coding, um, London is currently doing a keyboarding class, so it teaches you how to properly use a keyboard <clears throat> and type, <clears throat> excuse me, and do typing. And then there's also just like extra math um, games that they do online sometimes that just help sharpen like their multiplication and division skills and stuff like that. So, so yeah, we really love it because we're able to accomplish a day of homeschool in about two to three hours. Obviously it's a little bit longer if we have like power outages and stuff. Um, but usually that's not a problem. Um, so yeah, we finish our school day within two to three hours. And then we also just love to, you know, travel around and see different parts of Kenya and make traveling and like real life hands on stuff be a part of their education because I think that's probably the most important part of all and with homeschool it really allows you to kind of tailor your kids education um, to what works best for them the way that they learn um, can be taken into consideration and you know because every single kid is unique with how they learn even with just our three kids they all are very different with the ways that they learn and what their strengths are. So I'm able to really kind of uh, work with them individually, which is really nice. So yeah, I hope that kind of answers some of your more general questions about um, 
what we do. And I do know there is um, a pretty big homeschooling community in Kenya um, where homeschoolers will even um, plan different events and meetups so that kids, other homeschooling kids can, you know, interact with each other. Um, I know just depending which area you're living in, um, you might just want to ask around and find out if there's a homeschool meetup group because it seems to be a growing community even here in Kenya. Sissy, would you say that you enjoy homeschool? Yeah. What's your favorite subject you're doing this year? Math. Math. What are you learning right now? Um, I'm learning about times and division. Yeah, times and division. And how about you, Lucas? Oh, um, my favorite subject, also math, and I'm learning about air, area and about vol volume and stuff. Yeah, area and volume. And what about, how do you like um, your coding, Tinker? Oh, that's like the greatest part of school. This yeah, year. you're really liking coding, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you get to do in the coding courses? Um, like... Uh, I have to like reprogram this example of something and also a ton of Minecraft stuff. Yeah, you're doing like Minecraft. You're you're doing like some game designing too, huh? Mm -hmm. Like learning about game designing and reprogramming. Yeah. Pretty cool. How about you, Liam? My favorite subject is math. You guys all like math the best. And I'm learning about shortest and tallest. Shortest and tallest? Mm-hmm. You're so awesome. You guys are awesome. I think you guys all take after your daddy because you have those sharp math brains. But awesome. So would you give homeschool a thumbs up, a medium, or down? Triple. Triple what? Double. And triple double what? Thumbs up. Triple thumbs up? Double thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Another thing that I would say with homeschooling because several people that I've talked to um, their number one thing holding them back from doing it is just feeling like, you know, they're inadequate or I don't know if I can be the one responsible for my kid's education. But the thing is, is the way the lessons are set up, at least with the curriculum that we are doing, is the kids are, I would say, 80 to 90 percent independent with with their uh, school lessons. So we start off the school day, I tell them to get their laptops out, they get their, um, you know, the materials they need, their uh, notebooks and pencils and everything, and then they just log in and they get started on their own. And the lessons, the way they're laid out, they're, they are reading, they're watching little videos, they're seeing um, examples of, you know, the, the subject that they're learning about and then they're answering questions they do quizzes stuff like that so um i'm not really the one that's like teaching them every single part of what they're learning i'm more just there to keep people on track and there is a guide for when they do need like a little bit of extra help or they're not understanding something and to me i think it's in my opinion, it's an important part of comprehension to be able to um, sit down and read and decipher and figure out a new subject or figure out a new, um, you know, figure out something new um, just by sitting down and reading it. And so I think that's something that they're really um, strengthening as well. So um, don't feel like you have to be that rooster loves to be making an appearance in these vlogs. Um, <laughs> look at him. We see you. So anyway, don't um, don't doubt yourself. Don't feel like you have to be like an expert on every single subject. There is a lot of support and a lot of tools and a lot of online, you know, everything's online now. Like there's not anything that we've come across. Sometimes like when we're doing math, math um, and we both are a little stuck. Like sometimes, you know, my mind is not super refreshed on like fifth grade math when you're learning all these different formulas for area and volume. 
um, if we get stuck on something, um, one thing I can do is I can email their, they have like a, they call her a teacher. She's not really a teacher. She's more like a, um, a mentor to make sure that they're progressing well. Um, we can email her and ask her for guidance, or we can just Google and YouTube and almost everything we've been able to find, um, broken down on a YouTube video. So YouTube university is a real thing and it's really helpful. Um, and yeah, so don't think that you are incapable of homeschooling. If it's something you really want to do, you should go for it. You'll figure it out as you go. So anyway, I hope that that was helpful in some way. I've been meaning to kind of touch back on this topic for a while now. So I guess today was a perfect day to do it since uh, we don't have too much going on. Uh, we have this power outage going on right now. The kids are just about to go outside now that the sun is kind of coming back out. It does look like it's going to rain again probably in the next hour or two. The sky's getting pretty angry again, but I love a good rainy, chill, stay at home day. Just put the windows open and get that fresh, the fresh after rain smell.